So here we're given a problem involving a line integral. We're given a vector valued function, f, and we're given a parameterization, r, of a curve, c, and we're asked to show that this line integral equals this number. Okay, so how do we do it? Well, the basic idea is to write our line integral in a more uh, usable format. Okay, here it's written quite compactly. And um, what we're going to do is, is just expand that a little bit to help us evaluate it. Okay, and this is, in particular, this is what we're going to use. just going to be the limits of integration. I'm evaluating f along the parameterization r and I'm taking dot product with dr dt and I'm integrating everything with respect to t. So all we, we really need to do here is work out f evaluated along r, work out dr dt, dot product and then integrate. Okay, so f along r, what we do is we replace x, y, and z with t squared, root t, and root t res respectively. Okay, so x cubed is going to become t squared cubed, which is t to the sixth. Minus z is going to become minus root t, 2xy is going to become 2 t squared times root t, which is just 2t to the 5 on 2. What else do we need? We need dr dt. Okay, dr dt is calculated by just going to our parameterization r, differentiating each component with respect to t. So, derivative of t squared is just 2t. Derivative of root t, 1 on 2 root t. And the same for the third component. All right. So now, let's use this representation to work out our line integral. Do the dot product first. Remember, for a dot product, you multiply the components. Okay, the first component by the first component, second component by the second component, third component by the third component, and add. All right. So t to the six times two t. Two t to the seven minus root t times one on two root t minus one half. And this times this is going to give us t squared. So now we've broken our problem down to a, an integral that we recognise. We can evaluate that. So let's do it. Okay, the first term is going to become t to the 8 on 4. The second term is going to become minus a half t. And the third term is going to be 1 third. Now substituting t equals 4 and t equals 2 into this, we're going to get some large numbers. Now you should check the calculations, but when you do that, you should get this number.
Okay, so that's a, a basic example of line integrals. We were given a, a vector valued function and we were given a representation, param a parameterization of the curve between two values of t. We evaluated this line integral by expanding it a little bit and working out the uh, appropriate parts. And then we just broke it down to a simple integral. So this is a good method.